This is Rap the News. I want y'all to listen carefully to what I have to say today because you're going to be surprised at some things. Okay, so we got the Day of Atonement coming up. And I know that it has something to do with the deliverance of Israel. That if you do not observe the day, according to the scriptures, you're going to be wrote out. You don't want that. The Day of Atonement is the 10th day of the 7th month. And it will start on February 10th, 2022 at evening. The world can tell you it's another date. You should not follow them. Just like they told you to worship Jesus when Jesus said don't worship him. Just like they told you to to serve Jesus when Jesus said he didn't come to be served. You keep following those idiots. Why is the gate? It's too many of them. Many shall come in his name doing all these miracles and everything else. And he said, don't go after them. Don't follow them. They are false prophets. Leviticus 16, 29. And this shall be a statue forever. How do you know you're right, Rap the News? Because I'm reading it to you straight up. And I've been doing it for an awful long damn time. And I ain't going to even say the, the amount of years and, and, and mine ain't, oh, I do this on the weekend after work. Mine is every day. I live it. This shall be a statue forever unto you. Forever unto you. What's the word in there? Forever. You got the idiots that say, oh, can't do the, 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 the commandments and, and, and the feast days and, and the captivity. But what is God saying? Wherever you are, you're going to do it. Forever. That in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, you shall afflict your souls. They, somebody going to be hitting themselves over the back with a switch. When it means fasting. And do no work at all. And do no work at all. Everything need to be done prior. Before evening. Right. Whether it be in your own country or a stranger that sojourns among you. For on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you. A lot of people don't even know how that works. Who get that? Did he say you're going to make an atonement for yourself? Just go through the motions? No. This is a statue forever. He told you this is how you do it. The priest makes an atonement for you. Do you have a priest? Because if you don't sign up now. Because I'll be making an atonement for your ass. He said ass. Because we ain't this image that they make of us man. They have made God into a pushover. They have made mankind into pushovers. God is strict. God is wrathful. God's indignation is going to burn this whole place up. And everything around it. God ain't playing an ounce with y'all asses. Y'all got to get out of this sissy love God. False God image. That that the world done made for y'all. And this false image of a priest. That he's some soft pushover. Talking lightly. When God told us to lift up our voices like a trumpet. And spare not. If you don't think cuss words is a part of that, then you in the wrong religion. Go back to your church. That you may be clean from all your sins. Again, for on the day, on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you to cleanse you. Why is this cleansing so important? Because if you don't get cleansed, you're going to burn. It's cleansing one way and it's cleansing another way. It's cleansing that we make a sacrifice the best way that we can in the the captivity. And in that sacrifice, the blood of the sacrifice in the land of captivity is going to make an atonement for your sins. And I'll show you if I got it written down on this page how they did it before and how how we got to do it now. And it, we have to do it in secret now because the government will be all over your ass. You try to perform a ritual. Who we'll get that? Now, you can perform satanic rituals all damn day long. 
try to perform a righteous ritual and let the government find out about it. They will throw you in jail. Let's keep it moving. The day that the priest shall make an atonement for you, not yourself, not your preacher who don't know jack crap, to cleanse you that you may be clean from all your sins before the Lord. It should be somebody who gives a damn. Not somebody in it for the money. It shall be a Sabbath of rest, even though it's not on the Sabbath. Right? Unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls by a statue forever. Again, forever. The priests have to make an atonement for you. Do you have a priest? Let's keep going. The tabernacle of the congregation was a huge portable tent at the time of Moses. Also known as the tent of meeting where Moses was commanded by God on Mount Sinai to construct an, a transportable tent for the Israelites on their journey through the wilderness to the promised land in which supposedly Solomon's temple in Jerusalem superseded it as the dwelling place of of the most high God. It's debatable. That is. Because when God give an order. That order. Is an order. And if God said do it a certain way. We do it that way. And to otherwise informed. And we know God don't change. Okay now. The priest is making an atonement for you. Every year. There's a place called the Holy of Holiness, the Holy, the Holy of Holies, where the priests go inside that and it's eastward, facing eastward. It's a big curtain in front of it. No one is allowed in there or else you die. And the, it's, there's a golden seat in there that the priest sprinkles blood outside and then sprinkle the round's blood on the golden seat in the holies of holies and then he sit in that seat and he makes an atonement for your sins we do and, that, and when he, when i said a golden seat it is pure gold we can't even man that's just you know how small that seat gonna be mm -hmm, about the size of a pimple on our ass that's how much we can afford the damn golden seat so inside the tabernacle of the congregation was the mercy seat and that's what it's called Located eastward in the Holy of Holies, right? Where the high priest sprinkled round's blood and made an atonement for all the children of Israel. Again, the priest makes the atonement for all the children of Israel. God referred to the tabernacle of the congregation as the meeting place. Watch. When he's coming to deliver his people, it seems that it would be on the day that he said it was going to be on. But to me, this is to see who is who. Right? To see who is who. Who's going, who ain't going. Some It's written, all of Israel is going to be saved. And it's who is God deeming to be Israel? You know, everybody claiming Israel is not Israel. Exodus nineteen seventeen, and Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet God at the tabernacle of the congregation. And they stood at neither part of the mount. And the Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke, because the Lord descended upon it in fire. And the mountain thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mountain quaked greatly. So watch this. When God descends on something, what's happening? He said when he descends on this whole world will shake when he come down. Right? If he's coming. High is the God of the flesh walking around. And nothing is shaking. But a lie. See? And when the voice of the trumpet sounded, what is the trumpet? The Feast of Trumpets. 
which comes before what? The Day of Atonement. Right? And waxed louder and louder, Moses spoke and God answered him by a voice. And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai and on top of the mount. And the Lord called Moses up to the top of the mount. And Moses went up and the Lord said unto Moses, Go down and charge the people lest they break through unto the Lord to gaze. And many of them will die. You can't come up here, filthy McNugget. And that's the name of it. I will consume thy filthiness out of thee. You are not cleansed enough to come here. Even the, the priest that go into the holies of holies, his heart has to be cleansed. He can't be filthy. Neither can his body be filthy. He has to wash his body and then step into this place. The, the sons of Levi, right? Well, Exodus twenty nine forty two. This shall be a continual burnt offering throughout your generations. Forever, says God, at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation before the Lord, where I will what meet you. And that's today to speak there unto you. And there will I meet with the children of Israel. But when he, when he came here, he said, what? Tell them don't come up here because if they come up here, I'm going to kill them. Why are you going to kill them? Because they ain't ready to see God yet. They too filthy. I will meet the children of Israel and the tabernacle shall be sanctified by my glory. And I will sanctify thy tabernacle of the congregation and the altar. Notice that it always has something to do with a sacrifice. I will sanctify also both Aaron and his sons to minister to me in the priest's office. He didn't say nobody else. And I will dwell among the children of Israel and I will be their God. And they shall know that I am the Lord their God, not Jesus. That brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, not Jesus. That I, singular, may dwell among them. I am the Lord their God. And he making it known that it's an I, not a we. Isaiah 35, 1. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them and the desert shall rejoice and the blossom as the rose. Ah, oh, what a nice picture wrapped the news. Let's keep going. And a highway shall be there and a way and it shall be called the way of holiness, the highway of holiness. Right? That is what it's called. The unclean shall not pass over it. Same as up here. And then this, this is the end time that's going down right here. Up here is the time of Moses. And he told him what? Go down and tell them motherfuckers they can't come here because they dirty. They filthy. And if they come here, they're going to fucking what? Die. Same as today. All these people watching dirty movies, masturbating, uh, kicking it with fucking filth McNuggets in the filthy part of the city and everything else. They won't come out from among the heathens. and they, they, You can't go meet God. That's why the priest is making an atonement for your sins in that day. All you have to do is fast and comply. Right? And offer a damn heave offering or a sin offering and an atonement offering for your sins. You got to participate, folks, because God said this is forever. It ain't me. Oh, rap news trying to get something out of you. I could care less. I don't know you and you don't know me. It shall not be found there. Again, it says the unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those, the wayfaring men, what wayfaring men? We knew that this wasn't our place and this wasn't our world. This is the world of the wicked. We sold this world for the next world. Who get it? Though fools shall not err there, no lion shall be there, nor any ravenous beast shall go up there on. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. Those, we read it, yesterday or earlier today those whose sins got covered and the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs of everlasting joy upon their heads 
They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. This handful, this remnant of people, right, who come into Zion. Right, what about the rest of them? Well, let's find out about the rest of Zion. Ezekiel twenty-two fifteen, I will scatter thee among the heathen and disperse thee in the countries and will consume thy filthiness out of thee. How your filthiness going to get consumed out of thee inside the heathen's countries? And thou shalt take thine inheritance. What is our inheritance? People thought it was going to be a whole lot of money and gold and we're going to be living here filthy damn rich. They're going to give us back all our shit that they stole from us and we're going to be glad. Wrong. Your inheritance is the Torah. And it shall be binded upon thy heart. And you shall love God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Now you have inherited a substance that will last forever. You, a great substance, says God. In thyself, in the sight, again, thou shalt take thy inheritance in thyself. That's where you're going to put all the gold at. Mm -hmm. And somebody's going to push your ass overboard and you're going to sink right down to the bottom. In the sight of the heathen, you shall take your inheritance inside of yourself in sight of the heathen. So you ain't in your land. Your inheritance is happening right here. You're hearing it. You're hearing me speak your inheritance. And thou shalt know that I, the Most High God, is the Lord. Did he say Jesus? For all you deceived bastards. Jeremiah 31, 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel in those days, says the Lord. I will put my law in their what? inward parts. That's where your inheritance is inside yourself. And I will write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. It ain't money. Genesis fifteen fourteen. And also that nation whom they shall serve, I will judge. So they sitting over there in the valley of Jehoshaphat, ready to do the damn thing, huh? AKA the Mediterranean Sea. And afterwards shall they come out with great substance. That great substance is in your inward parts. That great substance is in thyself. Look at that. Okay, now we get into the nitty gritty, folks. Ezekiel twenty two seventeen. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, "Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. What is dross? The filth that come from gold, right? And all all they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even dross of silver." Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you are all become dross. Behold, therefore, I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem. So watch now. Watch. All the Israel is being gathered. Gather, 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 Israel, with you filthy McNuggets. Gather. And now you, you're going to understand why I'm calling them filthy McNuggets. I always call them filthy McNuggets or filth fucks because that's what they are. Let's find out that that's what they are. I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem. Right? You got all this substance inside of yourself, but you didn't get yourself all the way straight. You couldn't let go of some shit, right? So now you're being gathered where? In the midst of Jerusalem as they gathered silver and brass and iron and lead and tin in the midst of the furnace. As it happened before, it shall happen again. It happened, rap the news is happening again to blow the fire upon your ass to melt it. So will I gather you in my anger and in my fury and I will leave you there and melt your ass. You got gathered. Oh, we leaving Babylon. Oh, happy mofos. We left Babylon and Rap said we wasn't going to make it. And you got sent to what? Jerusalem. 
And in Jerusalem, I guess my dog want to speak. In Jerusalem, guess what's happening? You are patty melt. God's anger was poured upon you in Jerusalem. And he melted you. Yeah, I will gather you and blow upon you the fire of my wrath. I, I told you God wasn't a pushover. He ain't playing with y'all asses. When he say stop sinning, he means stop sinning. When he tells you to stop fornicating, he meant it. When he said stop being gay, he meant it. When he said stop using intoxicants and don't be high, be sober minded, he meant it. And y'all all gonna pay the price. And you shall be melted in the midst of Jerusalem. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall you be melted in the midst thereof. And you shall know that I am the Lord, that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury upon you. Who is he talking to? The house of Israel. <laughs> yeah. I keep telling y'all, y'all can have Jesus all y'all want to. But you ain't going to be left unpunished. You done some sin, you pay for it. No one goes against the Most High God without getting their ass kicked. Facts. Day of Atonement. Ezekiel 7, 16. And I'm not saying, oh, the end of the world is happening on the Day of Atonement. People always want to keep saying that. Uh, Yudi Yashirel came and you set some dates. If I say a date, even at that date, I just said dates. I have said dates. But I will always say in that video, in, in this video, it is not the end time. It, we are in the end times, but it is not the end. Only God decides that. Only he knows that. Why in the hell would I set a date if only God knows the date? They want to make you dumb, but, you, you know, keep wishing. You know, show me one video where I said this is going to happen on this exact date. I've said March, I've said June, I've said July, I've said the summer. I said it in 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. For all the people who've been listening to me, but I never steered you wrong. I never said nothing was going to happen. I said, we are watchmen and we keep watch and we warn the people. When we see an emergency, we sound the alarm. Just because I sounded the alarm multiple times, it don't mean that something was going to happen. You got... Jonah, who goes over there to the people, the men of Nineveh, and telling them, in 40 days you will be destroyed and overthrown. And 40 days came past and nothing happened. He a liar too, and God a liar? No. They put on sackcloth, they wailed and they whined, and they did everything that it took to get the wrath off of their ass. But these motherfuckers today, they, 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 they um, prideful. They ain't going to do what it takes. Anyway, so they that escape of them shall escape and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valley. Watch this. All of them is mourning. Everyone for his iniquity. You me look. You melted mine. You melted. Watch. Look. You own there for your iniquity. All hands shall be weak, feeble, unable to do nothing. You melt it. All knees shall be weak as water. You melt it. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth. Now you're humble, huh, Israel? What happened to your Nikes? What happened to your Felis? Right? What happened to your Gucci? Where your chains at? You don't want to have that, them chains on when you're getting melted, do you? It's going to make it worse. You don't want to have that jewelry on, huh? Every woman going to be bald-headed Watch. And horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all their faces, and baldness upon their heads. They shall cast, it happened, it's going to happen again. They shall cast their silver in the streets. You got no need of money, so how are we going to leave with that great substance? When you throwing it away, you don't need that shit. All you needed was the most high God. I keep saying if I didn't have to pay bills and use money, I wouldn't. And, and, and God bless everybody who donated. You have been a tremendous help to me and others. You know, God bless you. You are going to receive what you gave and your giving is going to be increased. That is what God says. You plant a seed 
it ain't just going to grow up one little plant. It's going to grow fruit and everything else. That's how God works. He is the God of increase and abundance. And I ain't talking prosperity. Talk, I'm talking facts. And shame shall be on your faces and baldness on your heads. You're going to cast your silver in the streets and your gold shall be removed. You're going to be melted. Your silver and your gold shall not be able to deliver you in that day of the Lord's wrath. They shall not satisfy their souls. They shall not satisfy their souls. Now you ain't following the lust of your hearts. Now it's what is God saying to us? What did he want us to do? I don't want no more of this. When he put that fire on your ass. You don't want no more. Neither fear their bowels. I ain't, I'm, I'm fasting. Because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. Because you followed your lust and you was greedy the whole damn time. Isaiah 4 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our bread and wear our apparel, and let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach so we don't be looked at as holes in the eyesight of the Most God. It ain't all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Ain't no single ladies then, huh? Let Beyonce get your ass fired. And look, look, my ministry, I'm preaching like this. This is how I preach. Why go through this bullshit? To the best of my ability, I'm taking my, my bumps and my bruises now. I'm going through holy hell now so I don't have to later. I am stopping myself from iniquity. I am purging the shit out of myself. I am trying to not step on God's feet in any way. You dealing with a real one. You dealing with a real one. Not just me, my family, and everybody that live on the land. You can't live here unless you bound and submitting to the most high God. Like he said, when he said, Every goddamn knee shall bow. What the fuck is you niggas writing me talking about? No, we raise our hands up to God and God gonna melt them motherfuckers back down to the ground, you arrogant bastards. Y'all have no idea. You put your face on the ground like the prophets did. You prideful bitches. They just make you curse, man. Because these motherfuckers, they some tyrants. They tyrants even to God. And that's why God going to melt their asses. And I pray for you and for I that we don't have to go through this bullshit. This ain't for everybody. I pray that you and that handful that don't have to go through this bullshit. And I say it again. We read it up here. It's a handful that don't have to go through this bullshit. Right? Because this handful that come to Zion is going to be singing. And they're going to have everlasting joy upon their heads. And they shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow. And, and sighing shall flee away from them. But then you got Jacob and the crew, right? Right? Being purged by fire. Right? Isaiah 4, number 4. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall purge the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning, you're going to get melted. Then y'all going to be straight, huh? And how many years is that going to take? How long you been fornicating? You're going to burn for that long. How long you been uh, being gay? Right? How long you been doing drugs? How long you been keeping bad company? How long you been married to that sick little bastard you married to? And you know that motherfucker, the devil? Jeremiah 37. Alas, and then all your little devil children, huh? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30, 10. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob. You're going to burn, though, says the Lord. Neither be dismayed, O Israel. For lo, I will save you from afar. I'm going to take you to Jerusalem and burn your ass melted. And thy seed from the land of their captivity. And you was thinking you was just going to be in the land of milk and honey, didn't you? You thought it was for everybody, huh? Now you better be in that remnant. 
and Jacob shall return and shall be at rest, day of atonement, and shall be in rest, day of atonement. No work, you're going to be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. Listen, for I am with thee, says the Lord, to save you, Jacob, though I make a full end of all the Gentiles, whether I scattered thee in a transatlantic slave trade, yet will I not make a full end of you, Israelites, but I will correct you in measure, and I will not leave thee altogether unpunished. You got to get your ass whooped. You came to daddy's house to get your ass whooped. The same mama's house. You know, you didn't get a good enough ass whooping there. You're going to get a good one here. For thus says the Lord, thy bruise is incurable, your wounds is grievous, you bald, you burnt, you melted down, and you quit. You ain't arrogant no damn more, and you ain't no hoe no more. He burned all that shit out your ass when he got through with you. There is none to plead thy cause that thou may be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicine, no more hospitals. And all thy lovers have forgotten you, player. Go try to do a service in, in there and see what the Lord do for you. Try to do a service with your titties and as it's there. Flip around a damn pole there. Stripper. They seek thee not. They forgotten you. They seek thee not. Think about what is it going to take. How much fire is going to take to burn all that out of a nigga. <laughs> for the multitudes of thy iniquity. That's, how I, that's why I got you. That's why I wounded thee with a wound of an enemy. Because thy sins were increased. Why is y'all crying for your affliction? Your sorrow is incurable. It's going to be for a long damn time. For the multitudes of your iniquity, because their sins were increased, have I done all these things unto you. So, again, folks, there is a group of people who going to have gladness and joy. Right? And the sighing shall flee away. And there's another group of people. We all Israelites. Who God going to melt. Right? Who God going to what? He going to melt them. You shall be melted. In the midst of Jerusalem. When he come to gather you. When he gather you, you're going to get melted. Figure out what side you want to be on. Stop fucking sinning. Jesus is not Lord and Savior and you know it. He said worship and serve the Lord your God alone. He said I didn't come to be served. Stop saying Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Stop adding a false God to your God. God said that is blasphemy. That is idolatry. And how shall he pardon you for this? Get together, Israel. You got a small window of time. Or face the fire. This is Rap the News.